What's going on everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone, and in today's episode I am going to pretty much teach you guys something that's really easy, really simple to work with. Um, this is something I figured out a little bit ago because I was having some troubles trying to understand how it works. Um, so this is basically how to get any item in Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Now I'm using Rebirth 2 because it's the one I'm playing right now. Uh, you can do this with Hyper Dimension Rebirth 1, 2, and 3. Um, I don't know about Hi or Mega Dimension. I have not played it yet, nor have I looked into it too much. Um, but yeah, pretty much here today I'm going to show you how exactly you can get any item in the game. Now, for this I'm meaning like, let's say you progress this is your first time playing and you progressed far enough to the point where oh hey I forgot a plan or something for changing let's say to add a dungeon change to the dungeon and I missed it because of the story driven events and then you're like well crud now I want to have it but I need to go to new game plus to get it well there's an easy way to do it this is technically cheating the game but however if you really want to get it without having to go into like certain new game pluses or anything this is the way to do it. So pretty much, you're going to have to have a... This is for Cheat Engine, so I'm going to assume that everyone has Cheat Engine already downloaded. If you don't have Cheat Engine downloaded, I might post another video explaining how to download Cheat Engine, how to work it. But this is for those people that already have it, kind of know what to do with it. So you open it up, you search the game, it has to be running. doesn't do anything. And then you're going to open this file here. I'll supply this file down below in the description. Um, it is from the Cheat Engine website, so there's nothing wrong with it. And basically, uh, there's a person that made volumes for 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you have to have the correct versions in order for this to work, otherwise the game is going to be weird. Um, but pretty much what you do is you open it up, and inside here it's going to get really confusing. You've got all this stuff here and you're just like, whoa, what's going on? So just sit back, relax, and let me kind of go through this. So basically, um, you can change anything that you want in the game. Obviously, if you have the game open and you're already selected on this, whatever you do here will uh, happen in the game if you set it correctly. So be careful because you can actually glitch out things in the game. I have accidentally removed dungeons entirely from Hyper Dimension 1 on accident and had to reload sta uh, save data files from Steam in order to get those back. So just be careful with what you're doing. But basically, how to get any item in the game. So what you do is you come down here to where it says Death Stats Base Address. You click on it, and in here is where everything that's pretty much going to happen. So anything that's in lighter blue is pretty much parameters or set uh, values that are basically asking you if you turn it on that this is going to happen. Now if you turn this on and then go back to the game and then you're like, oh hey, it didn't drop right away. This is because in order for this to work, uh, the darker blue one has to be confirmed and set on to tell it, hey, do this, even though you might have this check marked. Either or, let's get into it. So what you want to do is you want to set this on, item drop rate set to 100, and you want to right click it go to change record and value and set it to yes. This is telling it yes I want this to be on. And then down here it says item drop set to this. You're going to once again right click go up to value and this is where pretty much everything in the game exists. So in this case you can go down here to add dungeons to severed dimensioned, iris field, land castle, you know, pretty much everything that's in the game you can set as a droppable item. Now I'm not going to do anything important here because I really don't want to mess too, too much with my game. Um, but let's say you want to add more memory to the game. <clears throat> so right here, let's add 1024 megabytes to the game. If you do this, then you don't have to go to New Game Plus. Pretty cool. So once you set these two things, and it's set to yes, you click death strats, stats, base address. So it updates the game to let you know that it's going to do this. And you pretty much at that point are set. You go back to the game, go to an area. So we'll just go to the beginning area. And just kill any enemy and it will drop whatever item that you have listed in that. So we're gonna just go up to this doggoo. Yes. Now's my chance. I need to calm myself. 
Can you avoid this? Did you seriously and there you go. You could down me? So we've got added memory to 1024 megs from a drop on this doggoo. Now doggoos don't normally drop this, so obviously the game definitely worked the way it was supposed to. Now, as soon as you do that, I would recommend doing the following, and that is to disable all of this, set this back to no, um, if you're only doing this once. And I recommend this because if you leave it on, you can actually keep having this happen, and it causes problems. I would just turn everything off entirely to make sure that nothing goes weird. Now that's just one way of doing everything. Um, this is a really good way if you wanted to get all the all, any items that you miss or whatever. Um, you can obviously mess around with the rest of the stuff in the game. You can have 9,999 credits, EXE drive, party stats, uh, quest and coliseum, Cellus dungeon because that's in this, uh, equipment, camera stats. You can pretty much change anything you want in here. You just kind of have to. It's basically the same thing. You either tell this yes or no, you right click, change its values and stuff like that, and just update the game to make sure it knows what it's doing. This is a little complicated from what I was doing uh, Dark Souls stuff. Now Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 have completely different cheat engines. They're made by people. Um, <clears throat> so in this case they are, you know, set up to the way the creator wanted it to be. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I just want to leave this out for people. You can do this to, you know, like I said, get things before without having to worry about going to New Game Plus. I would still recommend going to New Game Plus, especially in Hyper Dimension 2. You actually do need it to get all of the endings in the game, I think, which is something I'm figuring out. But I just wanted to let people know on that that yes, you can mess around with the game, and this is a really easy way of doing it if you are looking to get items that you wanted to get previous. So. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have any comments down below on if you're confused or need more information on how this is set up, let me know. Also, if you want to know how to download Cheat Engine, uh, feel free to message me that as well. It's very simple and easy to work with. Uh, this tool is used for pretty much a ton of interesting coding and is great for messing around with games. So I do recommend to be extremely careful with Cheat Engine because it will indeed ban you for online use if you are using an online game. Uh, take this from a person who has been banned from Dark Souls 3 and was unbanned thanks to a some very fortunate person at Bandai Namco who was able to reactivate my account. Um, <laughs> that's a story in and of itself. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope this made things a lot easier for you and have fun with messing around with Hyperdimension.